Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamara and this is Trajan. This is his eight month baby update. He turned eight months in March this month and he is just growing up so fast. Um, he weighs 18 pounds now and <laughs> he's all chewing on the remote. Yeah, he weighs 18 pounds now. He still wears size 4 diapers. Um, he's in 9 to 12 month clothing. Yeah. Oh, big news. He's a crawler now. He officially is crawling. Before he was just scooting around like arm crawling. But now he is getting on his hands and his knees and crawling all over my house. It's crazy. Like, and he goes really fast too. Um, he also... <laughs> um, besides crawling, he is also pulling himself up onto, like, not onto things, but pulling himself, um, um, with the assistance of things, and he'll pull up to his knees. He can't get all the way up to his feet yet, but I'm sure that's coming probably next month. He'll probably be pulling all the way up onto his, <laughs> onto his feet. He still sleeps in our room, but instead of the bassinet part of the pack and play, he now um, sleeps on the bot in the bottom part. And I just um, cushioned it a little with um, an old comforter I had that we don't use. Well, we use it, but like only in the summer time because it's thin. So it's in his pack and play now, and he sleeps just fine in that. At first, I was worried he was not gonna like it being so close to the floor, like. I feel like it looked like he's like sleeping on the floor almost. It's so low, but he doesn't seem to mind it. He's been sleeping in it very well. <laughs> he still doesn't sleep through the night. I was hoping he would, but nope. He still gets up in the middle of the night, and then he'll get up early in the morning too. And so I'll feed him twice, and he goes right back to sleep after that. And. We, we get up at about 9 o'clock every day. I don't know why he's trying to stuff the whole remote in his mouth. <laughs> he loves to hear his own voice, as you can tell. Constantly yelling, screaming randomly, oh, <laughs> making, making noises. He's crying because I took this away from him because he stopped the recording on he still he still has eczema on him and mostly still on his ankles like I just it just won't go away and so I've been using a vino baby eczema um, therapy cream and that seems to be doing very well on him but I miss having nice smelling lotions on him so we have all these lotions and we can't even use them I give him a bath every other night still, and I mean, I guess that's helping with the eczema, because it seemed like it would get worse if I went three days without giving him a bath. Like, I'd go, I'd, you know, I'd, go, I'd give him a bath every third day, but every other day, he seems to be doing okay with it, but um, now his scalp is starting to get dry again, because I can't use, I was using coconut oil in his scalp every day I'd put coconut oil on it but now I can't because he wears a helmet for his flathead like it's right here I'm giving him a break on wearing it for right now and he's been wearing this for a month and he's doing good with it I have a an update video on this too which you'll probably see either before or after this video um, and he, he does just fine in it. Um, hopefully he'll be done with it before June. <laughs> He's still nursing in between baby food. Like I still give him, I give him breakfast, lunch, and dinner baby food. And then I nurse him either before or after each one. And maybe even a couple times in between feedings. And yeah, I don't see him giving up nursing anytime soon. He like depends on it. He seems to only go to sleep while he's while I'm nursing him. 
he rarely just falls asleep on his own. He has to be like very exhausted in order for him to just fall asleep on his own. And still no pacifiers. I was thinking about like trying to um, have a pacifier on hand at night for when he wakes up in the middle of the night and he isn't trying to, you know, he just wants the comfort to go back to sleep. So maybe I'll just stick that in his mouth and hold him and maybe he'll go back to sleep instead of me nursing him See? and him going back to sleep. This baby, I'll put it back here. He keeps trying to grab it. Uh, and still no teeth in sight. I guess he's gonna be a late bloomer on the teeth. So I haven't really been giving him any like real food, like real solid food to grab and chew on because I mean, there's no teeth. So um, I'm just afraid he's gonna choke not having that security of not having teeth to chew on it. Cause I gave him baby food that had little bites of food, solid foods inside of it. And yeah, that didn't go over too well. He swallowed them and then it got like stuck in his throat and then he spit it all back up. So, um, we're gonna give that a little longer and try again on that. But, I'm kinda, like I, I'm dreading him getting teeth but then I'm like, mm, he needs teeth. I'm dreading it because of the nursing because I heard like, I don't want him to be biting me because sometimes he randomly bites me. I'm sure, and it's, it's gonna hurt worse if he has teeth when he bites me. But hopefully that, maybe he'll be good to me and not bite me. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's it for this video. I don't really have much else to talk about because um, we don't have a doctor's appointment until his nine months. So next month too, it'll be more detailed um, update on him. And, um, and I think he's starting to get over these updates on him. I'm sure once he hits a year old, I won't be updating you guys every month on him. It'll probably be every six months. That's what's the point. <laughs> they don't, they haven't been changing much. <coughs> He's really tired right now. Oh, and he has a cold now. His nose is all runny. Anyway, so I hope this cold goes away soon, guys. I'm tired of wiping his nose. And he feel, he sounds so stuffed up when he when I'm when he's nursing like his nose like it's like making this weird noise you know like a stuffy noise and I just want him to feel better and his lips I guess were so dry the other day like it split his lip and he was bleeding and I'm like my poor baby and once again I was gonna get him some like chapstick but I don't know about have putting chapstick on babies to help with that so um I've been putting Vaseline on it with a Q-tip. I'm sure he just licks it all off, but I'm trying. Instead of just leaving it to be dry. But anyways, that's it for this video. And um, if you like this one, um, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more of this on my pants. And, <laughs> yeah, he said yes, please. And um, like and comment if you, if you feel like it. Anyways, thanks. Bye.